Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to train a convolutional neural network to predict five classes of diabetic retinopathy. Okay guys, go to Kaggle, download this, unzip it, put it in your Google Colab drive, and let's get started. Before we start, I need to show you the data set. Regression filtered images. Okay, there's mild, which is class label zero, and then one moderate. No diabetic retinopathy, which would be class label two, and then proliferate three, and then severe four. Okay, so we do the usual. There's only one folder, so we got to create one. Categorical, training, categorical, validation. 384, 384. If you guys want to change your shape, you got to change it down there as well. 24, 32. Validation split of 33. Horizontal flip equals true for that augmentation. There's five classes, so dense five. The input shape, 12864 all the way down to 4. And then dense 5, after flatten, soft max, atom, categorical cross entropy, categorical accuracy. There's your CNN summary. Now, guys, I could have ran to that more iterations, but this took a long time. So probably uh, I would run it at um, 50 epochs most likely, possibly longer. It took a little while to climb. Originally I had run it at 20 and then I ran it at another 30. So I take that back. You need to run it at 70 to be perfect. But it still was accurate. Okay. Um... I'm not a eye doctor, so I really wouldn't be able to, if I looked at medical imagery, was able to find it for diabetic retinopathy, you know, for ground truth to be able to tell. So I used uh, in the folder. This one is moderate, right? Zero, one, one. The class label NPR max. Remember how we did that? Three, eight, four. Reads the image, prepares the image, resizes the array, reshapes, and then this is just to show it. And then MPArgmax compute. There we go, because there's the sequences of arrays up there. And same thing, this one is mild. Okay, which would be zero. And then this one is proliferate, which would be three. There we go, not four. Okay, guys, so I take that back. I would run it at 70 iterations. Be, be prepared, this will take a little while to train. Now, this one is tough to train only because there's five classes and they're all similar looking, as you can see. Look. Like, uh, don't be surprised if you get some, a lot of moderates, a lot, if a lot of them say moderate, because there's not much of a jump in moderate to uh, severe. As you can see, they, they don't look, they all look bad, but look. Now, mild is easy to tell. You see? But to an optometrist or somebody who uh, has trained many convolutional neural networks and this specifically, they can tell. To me, this is my first time training one for this specifically. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I think next time we're going to deploy something on the cloud again. I haven't decided whether to do Google Cloud or SageMaker again. Uh, I don't feel like deploying a pipeline, though, because that, that, that gets kind of expensive. It's one thing to do a workflow, but... 
Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Thank you. Be sure to hit like and subscribe.